Hello YouTube, this is SinK101, and I have returned from my hiatus. Guess what I'm playing guys? That is right, Grand Theft Auto 5. This is my pastime, man. Not really. Uh, this, this goes back on our channel though. I had to play this one for the very fact we played San Andreas for some episodes. And the first game to re-return to San Andreas, this one, I had to play it. Now, I'm sorry for the quality. Like I said, my capture card crapped out a little bit. I got it working, kind of. But, um... Yeah, it still sucks. Um, there's no audio. You you may hear audio in the background. That's from the TV. But, um, that's not mine. You know, I'm just going to play some of this. And we're going to talk. And, yeah, this is going to be my first video. My way back up on SGN. Back to getting into videos again. I get shop here. I'm not going to reveal any spoilers, by the way. No spoilers. We're just going to be screwing around. No spoilers today. <coughs> Alright, so uh, first things first. What happened? Uh, well, like I said, my capture card wasn't working for the longest time. At all. Because my computer wouldn't do anything with it. And then, um, my computer in general couldn't record games. Well, um, okay, let me explain. I started college recently, so, uh, I haven't really had time to mess around with it too much. I have had time, just I haven't been using it. And so, now I'm getting a new computer soon where I will start making videos again, editing them all good and whatnot, making some actual computer game videos again. And yeah, so I'm waiting on that to happen, and once that happens, I'll be making a lot of videos again, but I guess until then I'll be playing this. I got this on release day, but I didn't want to make a video of it. I was too excited to play it. Get him, chop. See what you do to the dog. See what the dog will do. Yeah. <coughs> hey, shot my dog. Um. But yeah. So I haven't been able to make videos just because I haven't had anything to make videos with, more or less. But I am back finally with Grand Theft Auto Five. And um, yeah. So that was the explanation right there for the hiatus and all that. I'll explain more in depth later. Right now, I don't want to commentate and get all screwed up and just end up walking around. We're going to do something. So yeah, if you can hear that, my computer boosted power. I got a new laptop, so yeah. I'm recording this with a laptop. And a capture card. Alright. I don't know if Chop will get in my car with me. I've never actually tried it. <coughs> oh, he will. Get in this car, Chop. Yeah, we got my dog in the car. See that? He's sitting there. Drive this car downtown. Now, like I said, we played San Andreas on this channel before. We didn't finish it. But it, it is my favorite Grand Theft Auto game. It was. Let me rephrase that. It was my favorite Grand Theft Auto game. I have to say, this game is phenomenal in my opinion. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I really don't care. Because this game is just phenomenal in my opinion. And I love this game. It was totally worth the 60 bucks. If anyone's having doubts about buying it, you should totally just screw all doubts. Go get it. If you can. It is amazing. Like, I don't even know. I was going to wait for the PC port, but I just couldn't handle it. Like, the wait. So I went and got it the day of release. I didn't even pre-order it. I decided, screw it, I'm going to get it today. I'm going to pop somebody's car. Yeah! Yeah! Street racer! Even though no one's racing me, it's just me. Okay, so let, I'm gonna go around and show you some of the general features of the game. Let's show you some general features. I'm not very far in the game at all. I mean, when I first bought this game, I gotta admit, I didn't play the story. I screwed around. I mean, what do you do in every Grand Theft Auto game when you first play it? Some people will go straight for the story and try to beat it. I do a couple missions and then I screw around. Just like I am here. And yeah, it's been pretty interesting. I gotta admit, like the game in general. So, I'm gonna go over some general features once I find my house here. There we go. Get out the way! Who put my bike out here? Put my bike out in the yard. Come on, Chop. Okay, first of all, this is Franklin, and that's his dog, Chop. Uh, that is one feature of the game. Franklin has a dog that will attack for you, and you can train him using the iFruit app, which just recently got working. And yeah, he'll take walks with you and not, or you can just send him home. See, like, go home. And there he goes. 
<clears throat> now only Franklin gets the dog. No one else gets the dog but Franklin. He's the only one who gets an animal. As general, now you're wondering if you guys don't know anything about Grand Theft Auto Five. First of all, I'm kind of surprised. Second, if you're wondering why I'm saying only Franklin, that is correct. You can switch characters. Probably not news to you though, because I mean this game is everywhere right now. It's on everything. I guarantee I'm not the only YouTuber doing this. I know I'm not. I'm not even a big YouTuber doing this. I'm just a small-time YouTuber playing some GTA Fives for the people. And there we go. We switched characters. It appears he was driving. A car. No, he was. Oh, he had a prostitute. Michael had a prostitute with him. <laughs> Whoa. Was that a? I don't know. It may have been his daughter. Who was that? Come back. I must see your face. <clears throat> well, I've lost them, and I don't know who it was. Could have been anyone. Full moon film. Oh yeah, okay, a weird feature about this game. I found really weird. You can watch movies in this game. It's not a movie. It's like a short little clip thing you expect to see on YouTube or something. Like 10 minutes, something like that. But you're, you can actually go watch it. Which I found to be very strange. In general. Like, that's the first time they've ever thrown that into a game. Or a Grand Theft Auto game, anyway. There, I get out the way. Go into my house. Anyway, this is Michael's house. Each character gets their own unique building, car, all that general good stuff. They all have their own player model. That's one good thing. This is a nerd thing you notice. Uh, normally, when you play Grand Theft Auto games, even when you mod characters, they all have the same pretty much player model animation. They, each player model is different in this situation. And it's like they can all do their own thing. <clears throat> Where's my TV? Oh, that is my TV. Yeah, I'll show you this. Um, take a seat here. Just take a seat. Back, relax, Michael. Enjoy the show. And here we go. You can just have them watch the TV. I guess. Cartoon right now. What other channels? Uh, I don't know what these are supposed to be, but. You can just watch TV, I guess, when you get bored of playing Grand Theft Auto. Your whole two channels. There's actually some different stuff on sometimes, so you never know. Alright, that was feature. That was one feature. Um, you can get wasted in the game. I'm not going to do that. That takes a little bit of time. And it'd get kind of boring you sitting here watching me get wasted. Uh, let's go change our clothes. Change our clothes. The clothing system, oh my goodness, is extensive. I love the clothing system in this game. Um, in my opinion, it just went all out this time. <coughs> you can just get all kinds of cool stuff in this game. It's like all, yeah, there we go. We want that. These are outfits I didn't feel like going and picking out things individually because I haven't bought any clothes for him really, just Franklin, because he's my favorite character so far. But yeah, oh, and sorry I can't show any Trevor gameplay. I don't have him yet. If you'll see down here, I have not unlocked Trevor for gameplay yet, but I do have Michael and Franklin. All right, so um, you can go out back and play tennis. I'm not gonna do that because I suck at the tennis game. Um, I'm trying to think, I just, I'm sorry, I keep saying, um, I just don't, there's so much you could do, I'm just trying to think of what I should. What would be interesting to see, that guy just messed up my car all day. Like, oh my god. Alright, so, hmm, <laughs> there's a clothing store right down there. Let's go check it out, what they're selling. What you selling up in this clothing store? Poison beef, oh yeah. Ponson by Ponson Beats, whatever it's supposed to be, I don't know. That's a fancy clothes store. I'm not going in there. I hate that place. You know what? We're gonna make it daytime. I don't know how good the quality is at night on the capture card. Let's go make it daytime. Make it rain. I can't make it rain, I can make it daytime though. <coughs> Alright. Drive that car up the hill. Oh yeah. This game is really good. That's all I have to say in general. I have another cars right here. Oh, yeah, you can put the tops down on your cars now. If you have like a car that has a, if it's convertible, you have the available option. Let me show you that really quick. 
Just get in your car and you hold down the button and wait for the top. There we go. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh. And it's convertible. Then you want the hood back up. And there it comes. So it's coming back up. Very cool, very cool. Um, so yeah, let's go make it daytime. I think it's actually becoming daytime. Wait, is it becoming daytime? If it isn't, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, the sun's coming up. Alright, well, let's go back to Franklin. He's more interesting, <laughs> sadly. In general, I find him more interesting. Now, I've had, I've, I wonder this myself, you may be wondering, it is possible to find them all and meet up with them in the game. Like, you can actually find them individually and see each other. So, yeah, that is a possibility. I'm just not going to try it, because apparently it can be a little difficult at times if you don't do it right. Just because the characters move around. If you guys didn't know that, these characters are not playing them. They have their own lives. It's pretty cool, actually, but, yeah. There's a cop. Oh, sure it's prod. Failed. Alright, so um, let's go. Let's go do some stranger missions. There are missions in the game you can do as strangers and freaks, which I don't think they actually have to do with the story. I think there's random missions to pass the time, I guess, if the game ends and you have something to do. Oh, look at that. I got some prostitutes. Let's try to pick one up in a car we're about to steal. Walk over here, drive over here. Oh, maybe they weren't. Either way. Ah, scared are you? I've cut you off now. And she's gone. Here's a this guy fun. Everybody. Oh, the train. Train. I haven't really messed with the train, but I'm going to. <clears throat> oh yeah, so let's talk about some things bad about the game. You know there's gotta be something wrong with the game in general. Well, in this game there's not. Well, there is. <clears throat> okay, first things first, they took out the dating system. And, uh, from Grand Auto San Andreas, it's not here anymore. <coughs> Goodness, I am so sorry. <clears throat> um, the dating system, it's gone. So yeah, that's one bad thing. There's no RPG aspect to the game anymore. Any of that stuff. I didn't know I could stop the train, actually. Uh, they cut out San Fierro, Las Venturas, and the Badlands. Yeah, that's the one big thing that really got me at first. <coughs> was that. If you'll notice, Los Santos is your only playable location, along with the countryside, which I haven't discovered yet, but you play Los Santos and the countryside. Which I haven't really done the countryside yet, but... <clears throat> I've been throughout Los Santos, as you can tell. I'm just driving about, and it's changed since Grand Theft Auto San Andreas immensely. You know what? I will show you guys some cool stuff you may not expect to have happened. Um, for people like me who used to think, well, I'm going back to Grove Street. Well, you got some bad news coming for you. And I am going back to Grove Street right now. Show you what I mean. I was very upset by this. Not really, I wasn't really all to care, but... You know, being a Grand Theft Auto player, enjoying Grand Theft Auto San Andreas as I did, I was kind of, you know, saddened by the fact Grove Street is really different. <clears throat> I'll explain the differences when I get there, but there's not too much to say. There's a street race. I am not participating. This car couldn't race for crap, I bet. So there's no way I'm racing this thing. Alright, here's Grove Street. Notice anything different yet? We will go back down the street again once I get here. Here is Grove Street. Yep, you see? <clears throat> you see? Now, okay, let's go back down, drive around, and then we're going to come back. And then we're going to discuss all differences here. Da da dum. Alright, first of all, 
<clears throat> one of the first major differences with Grove Street. This being Grove Street, the Binko is gone. There is no longer a Binko here, which sucks. Also, a gas station has decided to appear. All right. Next, let's continue on down. Now, major difference. This little area right here used to be, I think it actually used to insinuate where the bridge was that led up. And now it's not a bridge, it's more just like a little up area. I'm assuming that was supposed to be the bridge, but I'm not sure. I don't know a lot of this, <clears throat> but yeah, it's gone. <coughs> um, all the side road, there was a side road before, if you guys remember, that would take you off to another part of San Andreas over there, it's not there. And unless that counts for it, nope, you can't even go that way. That side road is gone. And in general, Grove Street, if you'll look, the cul-de-sac is way different looking. Uh, okay, so Sweet's house is gone. If you'll notice, Sweet's house has pretty much, it's not the same. If it is Sweet's house, it's changed. House for rent, see? It doesn't look anything like Sweet's house. Um, the basketball court is gone completely. Um... Back here, you should remember me going back here a lot. If you remember back here, you used to be able to come back here and get a pistol. Well, now it's just like this weird little area. No pistol, from the looks of it. <clears throat> as far as I know, I've, I've never actually checked. Nope, no pistol, it's just a normal looking area. See that? Um, there was the uh, sewage system behind Grove Street, but it's not in this spot. It's just, Grove Street's nothing like it used to be. That's one thing I just, I just have to say that straight up. It's like, what happened to Grove Street? Um, I would explain, but I feel like it'd be a spoiler alert. There was an explanation to it. Also, you may wonder what happened to the Grove Street gang. It's gone. There's CGF now, unless that is Grove Street. Somehow it changed its name, I don't know. But these people call themselves CGF, the people that Franklin's running with. Alright, they're not here anymore. I don't know if anyone noticed if as relevance, there we go. Grove Street is taken over by people wearing purple. These gang members wear purple. If you are a San Andreas player, you will know that is a bad thing. So yeah, they're wearing purple. Grove Street, ball is taken over. <clears throat> I guess, I don't know. I really don't know the story behind it, but... That's what everybody's been coming to the conclusion of. Oh yeah, another cool feature. Grove Street randomly has this garage over here now you can access for your cars. You can store cars in this garage, I guess, if you really wanted to. Yeah, I'm not going to go in though, because there's no relevance for me there. It, ah, oh, it's just, this game is so amazing, I don't even know how to explain it. So many different things, so many cool things. Um, oh yeah, so, um, <clears throat> First thing here, another thing. The train tracks are gone. And if that is Grove Street, you would insinuate usually come up here, take this road, and look. Well, actually, I'm kind of confused now. By taking this road, that insinuated you came out through Ryder's house. Which means they completely screwed up this area of San Andreas. Because that's the Derby Arena. And in San Andreas, when you came out the Derby Arena, that would be like, this would be Ryder's little area out. Which means, technically, if that's Grove Street, if we go up this way, maybe, we we'll find something interesting. I'm looking to try to get this all straight. Something's really going on here. Weird. Maybe that was the wrong street, I don't know. That was cool, that is Grove Street, I do know that for sure, but... <coughs> Why is everything out of white? Okay, here's the train tracks. Which is weird. Here comes the train. 
So there should be a bingo here. And there's not. And then the Jim and Gatton. Gatton. Where is Gatton? Not over here. That's not a gym. That's not a gym. Hmm. Wait, wouldn't this be that one little area where a uh, beat up was? No, wait, this is a marker. I'm exploring, looking for pastimes here. <clears throat> Here's a barber. Whose barber is it? I want to know. Let's find out who owns this barber shop. Who runs this place? You're not the old man. Okay, all in all, San Andreas isn't the same. Los Santos isn't anyway. If you haven't already made the assumption, but it's kind of cool. It's a new map in general, you know, because I think everyone can agree with me if you play Grand Theft Auto. You're sick of seeing Liberty City. That's one thing I will say. I didn't like Grand Theft Auto for a whole lot. It was cool, but the story sucked, and I was sick of seeing Liberty City. So I'm kind of glad this game took its change. It went back to San Andreas, so I kind of wish they would have stuck with San Andreas. I mean, I like the future, but I kind of wish they would have made another game with original San Andreas. It's kind of cool. I was kind of hoping maybe they'd keep in San Fierro and Los Venturas too, but they didn't. And man, this video is 20 minutes long already. Man. 20 minutes. 21, actually. 21 minutes. It's insane. I've just been driving around showing you stuff. We haven't even gotten to the features or anything. So, let's go check out some stuff. Uh, if anyone wants a playthrough of this, I could try, but uh, I may wait until the PC version comes out because I don't know if this capture card is stable, is going to be stable enough to stick with the recordings and stuff, and getting audio will be kind of hard. Oh, a random event. Alright, so random events. Random events will pop up on your menu and stuff. Let's see here. The random event is an enemy, and he's on that bike. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, I guess killing him. Here we go. We're on a real chase mission now. We're gonna get that guy, get that pump. Get him, get him, get him down, get him, get him, get him, get him. Man, he's fast. <clears throat> Which is why they invented this. We got you, punk. I got him. I don't know what the relevance was, but I got him. <laughs> I got him, guys. <coughs> we got him. Let's take a van. Alright, so Franklin has an intelligent mind aspect. Here's another cool thing. When driving in high speeds, only when driving in high speeds, only well, doing low speeds, so this may not apply to the van. Oh, yeah, I guess it might. If the van picks up speed, Franklin has the ability to swerve very swiftly in between objects using slow-mo like in Red Dead when you had dead eye watch this whoa slow motion Vroom. in between the cars swerve so yeah that was one cool thing about Franklin he could swerve between cars and get really nice steering without crashing well yeah there we go that's one of the Frank with I, I think it's only for him because I haven't got the other character, Michael, to be able to do it. And I don't really use it too often. It's more or less when I race. When I race, that's a very good feature. Very good feature. Alright, let's go park our van up in here. Alright. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try and cut this off here. Um, so that was Grand Theft Auto 5, guys. If you'd like to see more, I would post, I will post random videos, whatever stuff of this. If you want a playthrough, I could attempt it. Uh, I don't want to do a playthrough because I never finish playthroughs. Okay, so if I do this, it'll be gameplay videos. Uh, if there's anything you want to see in the game, leave a comment. I will try to check it out if you know anything about it. 
I will look into it, see if it's true, or whatever, get the information on it, figure out how to do it, whatever I need to do. And uh, yeah. So um, yeah, just let me know if you want to see anything else with Grand Theft Auto Five. I will try to get some footage of it uh, for the gameplay videos. I'll just upload random gameplay if I have the time. A uh, new computer coming soon. I will be doing an unboxing. I am buying one through iBuyPower because I don't have the time or the patience to build one right now. Um, so I'll be letting you know more on that later. And I'll be doing an unboxing video once I get the iBuyPower computer. Anyway, this is SinK101 on SGN. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like the video or Grand Theft Auto. Thumbs down if you hate Grand Theft Auto or me, either one. Um, leave a comment. Subscribe as always so you can keep up with the videos, join, become a supporter of my channel, all that good stuff. Uh, sorry there was no audio, like I said, we were having audio issues with the capture card. But all in all, Grand Theft Auto 5 people, go out, buy it, enjoy it. And like I said, leave any comments if you want to see something, I'll try to do it. Anyways, later.